Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would love to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadas. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth, blessings, and safety to the men, women, and children that believe on the name Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, in truth and sincerity to you, I say Shalom. All right? And this devil, man, you know, this is a prime example Wow, why the Lord is going to remove this devil, man, for shit like this, man. It says the Spanish government legalizes bestiality and imposes prison for injuring a rat. <laughs> these damn devils, man. We know that these these are devils as well, okay? These Spanish people, man. They fucking us. Uh, these Spaniards, man. Okay, you Spaniards. <laughs> Okay, you know, another another name for E. Okay, I'm just gonna read a couple of these uh these codes, man. <clears throat> I'm not gonna read this whole article. Okay, Lord willing, I'll put the link in the description box. Okay, but it says the second of these projects legalizes bestiality. All right. It says the second bill has generated controversy in various media, which have pointed out some of its most striking aspects. OK, let's go down. Article 337 of the penal code, which cur currently criminalizes bestiality. OK, now this was an uh, I think this was an old law which they opposed. OK, but now they came with a new law. Let's go to the new law. OK. So at one point in time, uh, uh, bestiality was illegal, okay? And for those who don't know what bestiality is, just look it up, man, okay? It says the new law only penalizes bestiality if it causes injury. So here it is, you know, these devils, they legalize bestiality, but only will punish you if the animal gets hurt in the midst of Dealing with, man, this is madness, man. It says the article has introduced and in the reform of the criminal code promoted by the Roy Joy government in 2015 and its place. The Sanchez government introduced Article 340 bits that punish punishes with a prison sentence of three to 18 months to whom outside of legally regulated activities and by any means or procedure including acts of a sexual nature causes a domestic animal tamed, domesticated or living temporarily or permanently under the human control injury requiring veterinary treatment to restore to health. As it can be seen, Article 337 currently enforced considers that bestiality is a form of abuse, but this new classification disappears with the new law. OK, and hey, man, this is uh, hey, exactly what Micah too. And one says, woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their bed when the morning is light. They practice it because it is in the power of their hand, man. All right. So here it is. They 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 they, they made a law pretty much going into how, you know, bestiality was uh was uh unjust and um how if you, you know, indulged in that type of behavior, then you will be sent to prison, okay? But then you have some Edomite <clears throat> or some Spaniard, okay, you know, uh, at, at home sitting on the edge of his bed, man. Okay, you, say, you know what? You know, I'm just going to legalize it now, you know. And then, look, the next day he's signing into effect, man. Okay? Working evil upon their bed when the morning is light, they practice it because it's in the power of their hand, man. These damn devils, man. Okay? Now, let's read it some more. It says... The government, which has insisted that any non-consensual sexual act is sexual assault, even acts previously classified in the penal code as sexual abuse, now allows sexual acts with animals who cannot give their consent. This is a contradiction that the government for the moment has not yet explained, man. You know, this is wickedness, man. 
this is wickedness. Okay, this is wickedness, man. And like I said, I'm not going to read, you know, this whole, uh, all these different uh, laws and codes and things like that. I'm just going to uh, put it in the, uh, put the link in the description box so you can uh, go over it yourself, man, on your own leisure time, man. But um, I'm going to go straight into some precepts, man, because, hey, the title alone says it, says enough. The Spanish government legalizes bestiality, man. Okay. And this is Isaiah chapter 10. Verse one, it says, woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. This is an unrighteous decree. This is an unrighteous law. OK, and this is ultimately why we call Esau the devil. This is just another example of him being a devil. OK, which we know the devil uh, goes back to the Greek word diablos, which means uh, uh, metaphorically applied to a man opposing the will or the cause of the heavenly father, which means he's the opposite of, of the Lord. We know the Lord to be life. He's deaf, man. He's the opposite. OK, if the Lord say this is an abomination, he's going to legalize it. OK. This is why Esau is the devil, man. OK, but it says woe unto them, which means death and destruction unto them that decree unrighteous decrees, man. And that right grievousness, which they have prescribed, man. This is an unrighteous decree. OK, why? Because the scriptures uh, uh, the Lord has commanded man not to deal with beasts, okay? Leviticus 18 and 23. Leviticus 18 and 23. It reads, Neither shall thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith. Now let's go into this word, lie. Strong's H, 7901, Shachav, Shachav. It says to lie down, to lie, to lie down, lie on, to lodge, to lie of sexual relations, man. Okay? So men is, is not supposed to have sexual relations with beast. Okay? Leviticus 18 and 23, it reads, Neither shall thou lie with any beast, to defile thyself therewith. Neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down there too. It is confusion, man. Which we know that the Lord is not the author of confusion. All right? And I remember a few years back, you had some Edomite woman who was letting a horse pop her, right? Okay, the horse uh, shoved his rod all the way into her and killed her, man. You know, that was judgment from Yahweh by Shimei with Shah, man. Matter of fact, let's go to uh, Leviticus 20 and 15. It reads, <clears throat> if man, if a man lie with a beast. OK, let's make sure it's the same lie. OK. If a man also lie with a beast. Let me see. Uh, 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 uh. I don't know. I think I clicked on the wrong. Let me see. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Because I know the blue letter be going off sometimes. But that lie is uh, shakab. Supposed to go back to the Hebrew word shakab, which means to have sexual relations, okay? So the scriptures say, if a man lie with beasts, he shall surely be put to death and ye shall slay the beast, okay? And this is ultimately why when Yahabah Shimei Awashah sends that fire, okay, not only men has to be uh, purged in his land, but these beasts as well. All right, because these uh, uh, beasts are defiled under the rulership of this devil, man. <laughs> and that's why Job said what he said in uh, Job, the 30th chapter. I believe the first verse, hey, Job wouldn't even leave his, 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 his dogs with, this, uh, with these devils, man. Okay? Because, hey, man, you know, this, this devil E, man, he's a damn freak. <laughs> you know, he's a damn freak, man. Okay? And, hey, man. Yahweh Shimei Shah is about to remove this devil, man. 
Okay? So, hey, man. I would like to end giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.